I occasionally reflect on the splendors of Islamic Spain, or Al-Andalus. From 711 until 1492, Muslim monarchs maintained an atmosphere of coexistence, which enabled for unprecedented levels of religious involvement on the European continent. While Al-Andalus may symbolize the peak of Muslim-Christian-Jewish collaboration, Sicily, a modern-day Italian island, has a magnificent history that is too frequently overlooked and undervalued. Although Muslims are hardly linked to Italian history, Islamic engagement with Sicily began around 20 years after Prophet Muhammad's death during the reign of Uthman. Muawiyah, the ruler of Syria at the time, dispatched a naval expedition to Sicily as a response to the conflicts in the east between Muslims and the Byzantine Empire. Muslims attempted to capture the island, which was once a Byzantine province, for about two centuries. It was not until 827 that Muslims finally acquired a significant presence by taking Mazara on the western end of the island. In the year 800, the Abbasid Caliph Harun al-Rashid appointed Ibrahim ibn al-Aghlab as the Emir of Ifriqiya as a response to rebellion in the region. Ibrahim was appointed to control an area that is now modern-day Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya. The Aghlabids were independent in every way except for name, as they paid tribute to the Abbasid Caliphate and recited the name of the Caliph during the Friday prayers. During his reign, Ibrahim built many mosques and advanced the region by inviting jurists and theologians from all around the Muslim world. Soon after Ibrahim's death, his second son, Ziyadatullah, took control of his father's kingdom. In the year of 824, Ziyadatullah faced rebellions by Arab troops, also known as the Jund. The rebellion was led by a commander named Mansur bin Nasr al-Tunbudi. Nasr occupied the cities of Tunis and Kairouan, but Ziyadatullah managed to repel the rebels and kill Mansur. Minor skirmishes occurred between the rebel Arabs and the Aqlabids until 827, when Ziyadatullah allied with the Berbers of the Nafwaza region and finally crushed the rebellion in early 827. As a result of his victory, Ziyadatullah had full control of his kingdom and decided to expand north into Sicily, which was under the rule of the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine government sent a few expeditions to aid the locals against the Muslims but preoccupied with their struggles against the Abbasids on the eastern frontier and with the Cretans in the Aegean Sea, it was unable to mount a sustained effort to drive back the Muslims, who over the next three decades raided Byzantine possessions almost unopposed. The strong fortress of Enna, in the center of the island, was the main Byzantine stronghold against Muslim expansion until its capture in 859. Following its fall, the Muslim increased their pressure against the eastern parts of the island, and after a long siege, captured Syracuse in 878. The Byzantines retained control of some fortresses in the northeastern corner of the island for some decades thereafter, and launched a number of efforts to recover the island until well into the 11th century, but were unable to seriously challenge Muslim control over Sicily. The fall of the last major Byzantine fortress, Taormina, in 902, is held to mark the completion of the Muslim conquest of Sicily.